All right, let's see the results of our first heat overlay for wet cleaning. So after the heat overlay, I just did a simple press. One sheet of copy paper, one sheet, 100 pound cardstock, one magazine backer board. The book with the centerfold buffer, and then the same stack of three on the bottom. So let's see how we're doing with our spine roll. That looks pretty good. Let's see how we did with the stain. Now we had a little bit of transfer of the stain to this surface. There's a little bit here that I can see. It's okay. We just want to make progress. We may have to do this a few times. I think this stain is definitely lightened here. I think it's lightened a little bit here, but it's definitely lightened here. It looks like maybe we transferred a little bit of it here too. So I think we could do the exact same thing again and uh, look to get a little bit more progress. So I will do that. We will prep the heat overlay off camera and I'll bring it back and build the stack here. All right, what I've decided to do is I've decided to place my wet overlay between the two covers. The reason why is I think we can continue to move these stains, but it's gonna be very slow going if we just stick with a wet overlay here, especially to get these stains. Um, and we may have to do that three, four times, right? And overall, the impact of the book is gonna be greater than if we just try to get one overlay here. So how I'm gonna do that is I'm going to put a single sheet of copy paper here between the inner cover and the first wrap. Then I'm gonna put a wet overlay here. I'm going to smooth that out. I'm gonna put the cover down, smooth that out. One more piece of copy paper than the rest of our normal stack. So. Here is the copy paper. This is damp. And I've decided to use hydrogen peroxide on this one. So this is 3%, very mild. This is like what you can get in the drugstore. want to do this fairly quickly because if you wait a long time you can start getting your cover curling one more sheet of copy paper then the rest of that stack copy paper 100 pound cardstock magazine backer board like that aluminum plate on top Put this in the press after um, 15 minutes of heat we'll let it rest another 45 minutes we'll take this apart and then we'll just do a very quick press after that so next video will show your results all right time to check our progress on this wet press of this copy of avengers number 140 with the double cover I'm going to take this stack apart. I'm inspecting as I go. All right. The 
this is the layer that was wet. I'll very carefully separate these. Separate the two covers here. Sometimes we can see staining being picked up by the paper. See some yellowing on the paper. Okay. Paper looks nice and flat. And Hint of a stain, hint, bare hint, much better. Paper's nice, smooth. These wet presses give the paper a certain smoothness that you don't get with a dry press. So I'm pretty happy with that. We may want to do that one more time. I'm going to change out all these paper buffer layers and I'm going to do a dry press, low heat, um, for 15 minutes. And then we're going to let this uh, sort of rest the rest of today. Then we'll think about whether or not we need or want one more wet press Probably just with distilled water. Probably again in this layer. Just to finish off the bare hint of stain that we have left. And to give this book a nice flat look. Um, before we call it or we call it finished. So we'll think about that, but the next step is definitely going to be just restack this for a um, dry press, low heat, just to let it rest. So again, I will change out all the paper. I'm gonna do that off camera since you've seen me do it before. Um, I'm gonna stack it just exactly the way I did last time.